is a very interesting session. Uh, it's about logistics, it's about technology, and it's about collaboration, okay? It's about how the journey of last mile deliveries and first mile solutions is not just about getting stuff from point A to point B, but it is about efficiencies. It's about managing your costs, and it's a little bit about this logistics magic. Uh, it's also about how the real world challenges are faced not just by startups, but also by industry big bigs alike. It's about how a startup uh, portal integrated smart mapping solutions to emerge a winner. It's also about how Google Maps, with a very clever assist uh, from persistent systems, is rewriting the logistics solutions playbook. Why is this important? Now, this is important because India's logistics opportunity or sector, the logistics sector is projected to grow to 350 to 380 billion dollars by 2025. So there is a whole world of opportunities. And uh, so I'm very excited to have my panel here with me, Shubham Gupta, VP Engineering Porter. So Porter is, uh, Porter is a logistics uh, startup. Uh, present in 19 Indian cities and uh, facilitating last mile and first mile deliveries. Uh, then we also have Sridhar. He is um, with uh, Persistent. He is the Solutions Consultant Specialist at uh, Persistent Systems. And we have Ravi Bhaskaran, Head Partnerships, Sales and Growth at Google Maps. So welcome everyone. Shubha, my first question is to you. Uh, can you share some of the main challenges that you faced and how did the Google Maps platform actually assist you? Sure. Um, yeah. So I've been lucky enough to see Porto grow, where, you know, all the way from I think eight years back to where it is today. And when we started Porter at that time, I remember uh, most of our call center agents would, would, would ask for the area from where the goods need to be picked up, the area where the goods need to be dropped, and then struggling to convey the same information to the drivers. And then convey, and then also trying to convey not just the location but also the fare that we are that we are asking the customer to pay, our rationale for the same, and uh, you know the, the the time we feel that it would actually take, and we always knew that like you, the entire order booking journey which would last bit from two to three hours, so we knew that this is something which is never scalable, mm -hmm. and uh, we just uh, you know we wanted we started to look out what is the actual you know, scalable way which would not just sustain us in that, at that time, but also build the foundation on which we will be, scale, we'll be, we'll be building something which will actually disrupt uh, this particular space and we'll build something which will scale not only just to Mumbai where we started off from, uh, but to the you know, rest of the India. Uh, so yeah, and I think uh, Google Maps has actually, it actually enabled us to transform, to look at the physical space in a digital, uh, you know, from a digital point of view. Uh, it allowed our customers to provide us accurate information and I, and I think by that time there was a lot of trust also that, uh, you know, so, so, so there was trust that the users had with the Google Maps platform. And I think that's a very big role that we, we take it for granted, we take it for, you know, we, we take it with, with a very, we take it for granted. But the, the trust that there is, when you tell a customer that according to Google Maps, you know, we, uh, Google Maps is telling it's going to be 20 kilometers trip, it's going to take you two hours. I think there's just a huge high amount of trust that, that there is and it just makes our life simpler and it, 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 it allows us to, allows our users to have faith in the uh, platform. And the great thing is, you know, customers are still more tech savvier mm -hmm. uh, than your, than the, uh, the, the drivers on our platform. We saw something similar on the drive, on the driver side as well. Earlier, the drivers you, you, they used to make a, they used to ma maintain a notebook mm -hmm. of all the trip journeys and all the odometer start reading, odometer end reading to ra rationalize with us. And after we brought on to the Google, we brought on Google Maps platform. We migrated every the entire end to end stack onto Google Maps. That kind of a notebook maintenance was a thing of the past, and we have not seen that. <laughs> being used or being brought up since 2015, even to this day and uh, this right. day and You know, very quickly, any particular feature or functionality, you know, within Google Maps has allowed you to sort of amplify or has been very critical for uh, the operations at Porter? I think uh, both the directions API suite, uh, which tells us the, which, which uses real world, real, you know, live traffic information to tell us how, like, what is the best route to go from point A to point B, how long will it take, keeping in mind all the traffic, like, you know, we are, we live in, 
Bangalore now and we know uh, tra uh, you know traffic is uh, you know part and parcel of our daily lives so Google is able to leverage that and provide us accurate information and the other is of course the places API uh, wherein each and every uh, you know meter of spa of uh, you know uh, space that there is is now mapped to a real world location which just makes it easier for all the parties our drivers our customers and even us uh, be on the same page as to where we are, where are the goods going to be picked up from and dropped to. All right, you know, the role of persistent systems is pretty crucial, right? Like um, in the way this worked out, uh, because they integrated the Google Maps uh, solution for you. So can you talk to me about the kind of impact that it's had uh, on your scalability and, you know, uh, what's been the feedback from customers? Sure. So I think, as I said, you know, back in 2015, our booking uh, time was, uh, booking duration was like two, three hours. It took us three hours to actually book and find a driver. Now that has reduced to the booking time from a customer standpoint is between 20 to 30 seconds and our allocation time is 5 seconds. And build on and on top of that we have been able to scale our business all the way when, when we used to have samosa parties for 100 <laughs> orders in 2015 to us recently celebrating a milestone of hitting 2 lakh orders a day uh, across India. All right. So I think that speaks. That's uh, phenomenal. Yeah. That's, that, that, that says everything. Um, I want to come to you, Sridhar, you know, talk to us about the approach that you took uh, with the uh, challenge that Porter had and uh, in terms of customization, how did you go about actually implementing it for Porter? Yeah, um, so when we actually uh, took up Porter as an account, so Porter was using a very core Google Maps at the current stage, but once when they start to utilize for next three months, six months, we could be able to see a lot of huge quantum of data that has been accumulated. So I was like feeling like, I believe like audience are from South. Uh, in Rajinikanth movie, we could able to see in one five minute song sequence, the entire picture uh, turns away. Mm -hmm. So same thing like for uh, uh, when we approach on the Porter's account, we could able to see quantum of data that is being accumulated. And uh, we have actually input, lot of inputs into the data of the Maps API in terms of how effectively accuracy of the address mapping can be addressed and how the routing and optimization engine can be improvised. And there are multiple other factors on the location maps that acts as a very much important customization that we have done for them. All right, you know, so what is your expertise, you know, say for instance, integrating the Google Maps solution for Porter, uh, you know, how does that uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, help other industries as well, apart from logistics? Yeah, sure. Uh, so similarly, in all kinds of logistics, uh, including Porter as a company, we actually see this the same level of expertise on the solutions that lies within in terms of accuracy of address mapping and configuration of the change that can be very much fast and uh, what we have actually done is like we have formed a group set of teams within the persistent uh, in terms of similar kind of logistic industry you have a product team separate right. you have a technical team separate you have a business team separate so our basic persistent what we put actually into the system is First, we have collaborated all the teams together. What is the exact business requirement that has? And then we convert them into a probable a logical angle where the, exactly that business suits the mapping systems in terms of location specific. And we built it along very collaboration down along with the portal like a full system. All right, right? okay. Ravi, I want to bring you in now. You know, talk to us about how uh, India's logistics sector actually leverages Google Maps and you know, how are you attempting to deepen the experience for them and widen it? Absolutely. Um, I think Shubham already spoke uh, a fair bit about this, right? At the core of it, a logistics company or a, or a mobility company needs three things. Uh, at, from a location perspective, and that's what we address. The first is, you know, how you capture a location through GPS or through a text input or an auto suggest accurately, because that can make or break the game. The second one is matching drivers to couriers or deliveries or destinations. He spoke about, you know, the transition from three hours to five, a few seconds, right? That's what we do. I mean, we, we, we drive that optimization. And the third one is, you know, real time traffic data hmm. to help with directions and navigation, right? Hmm. So I think with all these three, we are able to help drive down the employee, the driver, and the fuel cost for mm -hmm. logistics companies. Like that's the first one. The second one is we reduce driving inefficiencies, driver mm -hmm. inefficiencies, and um, you know missed you know deliveries, uh, you know due to wrong address input and so on and so forth. So that's the second big thing. And thirdly, all this is about customer satisfaction. It's about the bottom line, right? So 
all this directly impacts that. So, so we do that broadly, even from you know large traditional courier companies mm -hmm. to the new age courier companies like Porter as well. In terms of what we are doing in specific for logistics and mobility areas, um, you know, while Google Maps platform has been there for like you know almost a decade and a half, either with APIs and SDKs, we've modularized um, you know the platform for mobility companies in specific, right? So if you're a startup and you want to you know, uh, set up your logistics uh, firm, it's, it, you can quickly scale and you know, get to the stage of a portal that took someone like Porter years to build. Right. And we have modularized the solution. An example of this is um, you know, uh, when you do navigation like for a driver or a courier on the, uh, for Porter, they can actually navigate with Google Maps. Within the Porter app, they don't have to move their experience to Google Maps. Yeah. So that increases their experience and also helps Porter track and you know, uh, drive those efficiencies more accurately. All right, you know, Ravi. Also, can you shed light on how uh, startups like Porto or other businesses can actually use Google Analytics, yeah. uh, you know, to to improve? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think you shed light on on on, on some bit of it. Yeah. But you know, what would you like them to do more, uh, which you see underused perhaps as a yeah. feature? No, um, one of the lesser known aspects of Google Maps, not for Shubham though, he's already spoke about it. One of the underused aspects of Google Maps is our strength of our places data. Like every square inch of, I mean not every square inch of India, I mean, I'll be exaggerating, but a fair amount of India has been covered with fair amount of accuracy, details, pictures, um, and detail about what type of place it is. It is a pharmacy, is it a you know grocery shop? You know, that repository is there on Google Maps. Right. So if, as a company, if you're able to leverage that, uh, and if you're able to overlay it with your own company data, competitor data, and maybe demographic data, you can build real insights. For example, and I'll talk about in logistics space, and this is applicable to logistics, EV, retail, uh, banking, and so on and so forth. So, you know, how do you place your dark store? How do you place your distribution center? Where do I open my next EV charging station? All of this <coughs> can be addressed with the help of Google Maps. Not just Google Maps alone, but if you marry it with, you know, other uh, data sources as well. All right, you know, it's fascinating how collaboration has actually helped the startup, you know, provided more insights to you and new business opportunities for persistent. My last set of questions now uh, to all of you, and I want to start with you, uh, Shubham, you know, uh, talk to us about how this collaboration with uh, Google Maps, with persistent systems, aligns with Porter's growth plans uh, for the future. And, you know, what is the sort of role that you see yourself playing in this re-energized logistics sector? Sure. I, uh, I think that's a very interesting question. Uh, so I think uh, the great thing about building things on top of something like Google Maps and you know with the help of uh, you know our, our, our partners like Persistent is that to, today we are quite we, we feel we are we quite confident to expand operations outside India. We have already expanded operations to UAE now, and uh, in the, by September and we will be launching in Bangladesh, and it is. Because of the, due to the fact that you know we have the right platform, we have the right foundation, we have the right partners to help us navigate the, the you know the challenges that we might fa face over there, which we have not faced in India, honestly. And I think uh, with the you know with the kind of scale that we are going towards, I think we are going to be working very closely with the Google Maps team through Persistent to actually help relay the user you know user challenges, user uh, user feedback. To, uh, to to the relevant parties, and then work very closely with them to create solutions which which does not just work for you know la millions of customers who come onto our platform, but it's going to actually help us reach our dream of having billions of users transacting on our platform. All right, to you now, uh, you know, Sridhar, how the how do you see the synergy, you know, that you have, say, with Porter and with Google Maps? How do you uh, how do you think it can be leveraged to other industries? Yeah, definitely. So basically, Google Maps is an agnostic platform solution that has been built very strong uh, with a huge sets of millions of sets of POIs, which is there. Uh, similar like Porter as well as for other verticals as such. So this can act as a one single source of information of truth, where you can able to build multiple solutions down the line. And Google Maps, of course, comes up with new sets of solutions down the line. And I could able to see in the last three to six months, there are uh, specific solutions which is built by Google. For, for example, in logistics, we have uh, ODRD, on-demand ride and delivery, then Cloudfleet, routing and optimization. And similar like for other verticals as well, this act as a like base solutions. And on top of it, how we are building on top of it the lead layer, so that's where persistent comes into effect. 
And that's what we also try to talk to a lot of startup accelerators down the program. And if you wanted to exhibit these solutions down the line, how it can able to bid fit. Because you have huge millions of data of POIs that is already there. And how effective we can build is what persistent has a, a source of information of truth. All right. Uh, you know, this is now my last question, Ravi. Uh, it is to you. You know, uh, India is a rising superpower. We are the world's fifth largest economy, and we are expected to be the third largest. What is Google Maps' vision for its role in India? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's a very interesting time to ask this question. Um, I've been working in technology companies, global technology companies, for the last uh, decade or so with, with global operations. And as a global company, it's, you know, it's, I mean, you, it, like I worked at Twitter, Uber, now at Google, it's very hard to build a service, you know, for a specific country mm -hmm. or for a specific geography. It's, uh, it's, it's really hard uh, to customize it to that level. Um, but there has always been interest and investment and, uh, you know, promise in India, right? Always, you know, India has been an important market. But in the last, I would say, couple of years, I've seen a massive change, right? In the sense that now there is this willingness to do something really specific for India. Uh, at Google Maps, I can say India has been named as country of focus, and we are going to invest in this market, and we are building custom products for this market. And in fact, we've already launched a couple of things. Um, like, for example, addressing in India is very different. It's unlike anywhere else. It's not like, you know, you know perfect uh, you know, rectangles and squares in other countries. It's, we are very urban, very dense, and our addressing, and, and our addressing is like, you know, Usped ke piche or, sorry, but, you know, yeah. you know behind that, uh, whatever. Behind, yeah, behind the village well. Absolutely. Behind the mango tree. Absolutely, yeah. right. Um, so we are very landmark based. So we, we recent, uh, recently launched something called address descriptors that, that you know, attune our behavior and helps couriers and drivers and even customers to navigate with the help of that. Um, we are, you know, the India unit cost is very different from global markets as well and we need to be cognizant of that. And now we are thinking of different business models in which how we can approach this and support the whole startup ecosystem as well. So I'm very excited about what the next few years uh, has for Google Maps and for India. All right, you know, on that note, it's time to end this discussion. Thank you very much, gentlemen, you know, for speaking to me and uh, giving us your insights. Thank you very much.